Hello everyone, welcome back to Sketchy Theatre. Today we will learn how to make a movie intro like the Marvel. Import all the photos. Now select all the photos and click speed or duration option. Change the duration to just 5 frames. Now drag and drop every photos in the timeline. Go to FX panel, search for fast blur and under video FX you will find it. Drag and drop that effect to the first clip. Under the FX control panel, go to your fourth frame and set a keyframe at the fourth position. In the first frame, Set the keyframe so that the image is outside the frame. And again for the fast blur effect, add two keyframes at fourth and the first frames. At the first keyframe, change the blurness strength to 500. Also, don't forget to change the blur dimensions to vertical. Now your first clip is ready. Copy the fast blur effect and the motion effect of the first clip. Now paste these effects over every clips of our video. Now go to 4th frame of every clip and adjust its scale and position. Arrange all the video clips in a staircase manner and increase its duration to 10 frames each.
Now select all the video clips and click on nest option so that all the clips can be nested into a single sequence. Copy the first nested sequence and paste it over 5 times. Increase the speed of every other nested sequences by 25% more than the previous ones. Now place the nested sequences one above the other at the fifth frame from the last of every nested sequences so that they have a smooth transition. Once again select all the nested sequences and click on nest option to make a second nested sequence. Now place a red gradient image over our nested sequence so that it can be used as a foreground. Drag it to fit our entire timeline. Go to FX control panel and under opacity change its blending mode to multiply. Now add our text Marvel. Now select our text Marvel and go to FX control panel to change its font style, size and alignment. Here I am using the impact font style and I have increased the font size to 359. Go to our essential graphics. If it's not seen, go to windows and click on essential graphics. Under the essential graphics panel, click on edit tab and under the align and transform settings click on center align from both horizontal and vertical directions you can increase the duration of the text as you want now we can make a small zoom out effect for the text for this effect add a scale keyframe at the first frame of the marble text and also another keyframe after few frames. Go to the first keyframe and increase the scale a bit. Now your zoom out effect is ready. Now trim the nested sequence so that the starting point of the marble text and the ending point of the nested sequence too are the same. Add a default transition to the end of the nested sequence too. Increase the default transition to the starting point of the marble text. Now place a comic paper image over all our video clip so that it can be used to make a comic book like effect. Increase its duration. Change its scale and also its blending mode to multiply. You can also add a small rotation effect to the starting of our nested sequence too.
finally add a default transition to a comic paper image so that it has a smooth transition with the marble text. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the final review.